to the very first View Chew cook-off. The competition is based on a segment on the Chew called One Pot Wonders, where they create a five-star dish using only one pot. This is the year of the viewer, of course, and each team's dish will be tasted by two members of today's audience who will crown the winner at the end of the show. Our first team is Whoopi Goldberg and Mario Batali, the brilliant Mario Batali. You know I enjoy you, and I love what you cook. You, I love you, you know, so show me what you're cooking here. I've already <laughs> spilt water. Show me what you're cooking. We're going to make a Caribbean-style sloppy yes, joe. Yes, It's Caribbean. All right, right, all right. So here's our uniforms. Okay. They try to give us right. these aprons, but the, we're cowboys we already, so we don't need right. aprons. I'm no splashing. I'm backing right. up. There'll be no right. splashing on no, your no, uh, no. whatever suit that is. Mommy doesn't right. like stains. Okay, go ahead. How do you feel about chopping with a knife? I'm not allowed to handle a knife. All right, right so yeah. I'm going to do the knife bit. Okay. So you should have me do how to create a masterpiece keep in one pot. Let's right. go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some onions and then some spices. I know through past experience that would be like simple, delicious food based on meat and not much else. Yes. So we're doing a sloppy joe that has just a little bit of onions and garlic. You little know? bit, child. Just a little bit. There you go. Go ahead. Then we're going to stir it in. Yes, so we, we are. have an onion. And She's you, stirring it. You get some garlic here. Garlic. That's just ground beef. But if you wanted to make a variation on it, you could use uh, sausage, ground lamb, or tofu if you were a vegan. So you could replace the meat with other meats. Absolutely, with tofu other meats that would be good. Tofu sloppy joe does not sound uh, No, it doesn't, in no, fact. No, it doesn't. Yeah, but it's, no. This is all right. This and, is great. And what else? Go ahead, keep going. Ready? What? Yes. I'm just trying I to get over water. All right, so we're going to take a little brown sugar. We're gonna right, take. That's a little key that I, I wouldn't know about. A little sweetness, a little sugar. Well, I you like a little sugar, sugar don't I you? Do, I do like a little sugar, well, baby. Hold on, let's try this. Ready? Oh, oh, oh Mario, so Jeez. hot! Oh Perk yeah. It well, it's, <laughs> but you got a knife in your hand. Well, the knife was to protect me. It wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, I know, because you need that protection for me. Exactly. See, I could just eat this just like this. I'd be uh -oh, very no, happy. No, no, this, this is, is my life. And then so you got all these spices. You got a little paprika. Little spices, paprika, cayenne, Ca cinnamon. Cayenne. Not too much, not too much. Not is too that going to make me go to the bathroom? No, 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 cayenne. <laughs> all right. Well, eventually you're going to have to and go to the bathroom. And salt to taste, my favorite thing to say. Salt to taste, my favorite thing to say. All right, then we take. Oh, just, a tube of. This is Tuscan toothpaste. Tuscan toothpaste. It's tomato paste. Oh, my so red. All right, so you keep stirring that all the way through. All the way through, you Doesn't stir take. it all the way. Then we Don't take play just with me, all a the little, way. Now, a little splash Now, do you of, think it's difficult to cook in one pot? Is it, for me, it's easier, because it's so it's easy easier, to clean up. It's easier to clean, it's easier to organize, and it's more like weekday meals or simple meals that don't take very much time. That's right. Do you remember the first time, the first thing you cooked, or the first time you cooked when you were young? I think the first thing I remember actually making was something called banana chocolate chip bars that we baked in, uh, at the house, and it was kind of like the... It, it, it led to what a would be called. Oh. It was early cooking. So we have Worcestershire, Worcestershire. tomato paste. Right. Now we're taking ginger beer. Ginger beer. Which is like ginger ale. It's just fancier sounding. Yes. And what we, we you... bring that up to a boil, and we allow it to simmer for like 25 minutes, so and it's done. OK. So what... that's that. Now, does Whoopi, do you cook at all? <laughs> uh, I knew the no. I've, heard, I've heard she does a, does a little baking every now and then. She, yeah, she, uh, I wake and bake. <laughs> well, that's the kind of baking I was talking about. <laughs> All right, now what are you cutting up over there? So now over here I'm going to make an island style relish, which is with some fresh pineapple, Ooh, a shallot, like that. a little jalapeno, um, which you don't like, so I'm deleting it. Okay. Cilantro, which you don't really care for, but I'm right. just yeah, putting it in cilantro anyway. Either. It's, it's, so it's going to be a little bit because it's it is like island I just style. Shove dial in my yeah, mouth. It's kind of odd, <laughs> but that's all right. Why do you think this can win the this competition, Mario? Why did you pick this dish? And this is what it looks because, like. Well, the, I picked this just because I know what Whoopi likes to eat. Okay. I didn't want to challenge it, make it too hard. I didn't want to make something that we couldn't finish in real time. And I wanted to make it something that I like as well. And finding that balance when you have guests over, when you're making dinner right. for somebody, finding something that everyone's going to enjoy yeah. and that you still don't feel like you sold yourself down the yeah. river to make someone yeah. happy is the best way to well, go with it. And cooking. also, sloppy um, joes are one of my favorites. Yeah. I, when I was a kid and we had them for lunch in the cafeteria, it was one of my the favorite dishes. It was so good. And there was always that sweetness that I could never get yes. when I made them. And, and it, I can see you where it comes in. Sure. You do that, that to do. I want to taste it. Can I scoop it out of here? Well, you can scoop it out of there with this. Ooh. Or I can actually make us one. Oh, yes, please. Why don't I do that? How's I that? I like that. You're going to make... So we've got okay. toasted buns. This the, way I save my The key to all buns, Mr. Cantone, is toasting them. <laughs> to you got to yeah, toast, toast the buns. You got to toast the buns or you got nothing going on. Right. 
Now, ah. also with things with buns, <laughs> yes. it's all about the balance. It would seem that more is better, yes. but that's not true. You want to have just no. the right amount of no, each of the components. You don't want to get it all over right. you either. Well, right. it's exactly. Too much. Right. And then and just that a goes little. On top, so that is a kind of a little garnish yeah. thing. Yeah. So we're going to call it a relish today, a but relish. a garnish, a garnish I for can't the book. Wait. Now, do you want to try this? Okay, both of you taste this. I, yes, let me think. have a little bit. Right, Should I taste you? Can I? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. take this one. Tasting. We may have three. You taste that one. Stop. It's very good. Let's taste this. Now, there's also a beverage component, and I found that if you cook with something and you drink it at the same time. You're in good shape. This is ginger beer. It's not alcoholic. It's That's delicious. Good. It's gingery. I love this. It's got a little spice. That's really, really good. This is I real. like that. It's sweet. It tastes. It takes me back. Yeah. It takes me back to the cafeteria. All right. The next team is serving up their dish when we come back. Come on back, baby. Up next, the Choose Michael Simon is getting a mouthful of the joy of cooking when they team up to see if they can create the winning dish in the first ever View Chew Cook Off.